a new coalition government has managed to restore water in one of South Africa's worst run municipalities after years of ANC misrule. The coalition, which brought together small parties like the MAP 16, the EFF, the Freedom Front Plus, Diguan Gwetla, ATM, you name them, including uh, the support of the DA, by the way. It was quoted in the City Press newspaper this past weekend as saying, it is now in the process of ironing out its issues with ESCOM. The Maluti Apofong municipality is one of ESCOM's biggest debtors with a bill of over 6 billion rand. Can you believe it? Well, let's get more on these developments now and uh, we are joined by MAP 16 spokesperson who also doubles up as speaker of the council Paratlane uh, Mutlong. Mr. Mutlong, thank you very much for your time. Let's start with uh, the restoration of water in that municipality. Is there clean running water right now and how did you do it? Thank you very much uh, for inviting us to this platform. Uh, look, Koli, uh, the issue of water has always been uh, the issue together with uh, electricity that we were going to face, uh, to be faced with as we come in as uh, the coalition government. So we've had to put our heads together, uh, together with our officials to find ways as to how we can make at least the supply to be as, as stable, uh, to be sustainable. So indeed, uh, with the changes also that we have made with regard to uh, the leadership at our uh, water unity, uh, they managed to come to the party, they managed to make things happen. You got areas that have not had water for between 8 and 14 years, and in some cases that have got water now, and they are working on other areas as well that are still without water. And I must uh, indicate that some of the challenges are related to the issue of electricity, the intermittent inter uh, supply of electricity that we've got, which we are also dealing with since we are engaged with, uh, in, the, in negotiations with ESCOM. So we, we hope that soon uh, the challenges that other people still face with regard to the supply of water will be a, a thing of the past. Yeah, I just couldn't believe reading through that article at the weekend, Mr. Mutlung, just how enthusiastic the people of Maluti Apofong, one of the worst performing municipalities. I remember the service delivery protests that went on there. But as we reflect on this, do you think that part of why there seems to be progress, and in particular around the electricity issue, has to do with the ANC having been uh, taken out in this uh, last local government elections uh, that took place. Do you think that part of why there are now movements and positive movements in regards to electricity and water is that the ANC is no longer pa in power there? Certainly, Gumbi, without any share of doubt, uh, I'm sure some people would have uh, listened to the deputy president of the country uh, responded to questions in Parliament a few weeks ago, indicating that this new leadership of the coalition government led by MF16 uh, are beginning to make things happen in this municipality. There's hope. Uh, we are encouraged indeed, and uh, with the kind of cooperation that we are getting from the provincial government and the national government, we believe that we will definitely turn the situation around. Uh, look, Goli, uh, the problem, the main problem with this municipality has always been about leadership, which is something that we committed ourselves that we will provide. Uh, there was lack of uh, political will from the previous leadership, which is something that we are, we are bringing on the table now. Uh, the, the employees of the municipality are, are beginning to understand where we want to go and are beginning to understand their responsibility together with us as the political leadership. So we are trying to work as a team so that we deliver on the promises that we made to our people. The, the electricity issue, though, Mr. Mutlong, is going to be a long and arduous uh, one for you and the community there. What solutions are being sought at the moment, but also importantly, how eager is the community uh, willing to pay 
for the electricity that they use because this is part of the problem in a vast number of uh, communities around South Africa that people just have this culture of not wanting to pay for electricity. Are people there enthusiastic about paying for the electricity that they use? You, you are correct, uh, Edwardi. Uh, this is a, a, a thorn, really. Uh, uh, we, we, are, we are really struggling with regard to the issue of, of electricity, but I must uh, indicate uh, also at the same time that we are beginning to make uh, some strides in, in that regard. Uh, uh, some, some about two, uh, uh, almost two months ago, we had almost a blackout of about seven days here where we were forced to go and talk to ESCOM and then we reached some, some, some agreements with ESCOM. But that, that experience made uh, our people to understand that we need to be responsible as, as citizens of our area. And the people are really uh, prepared to buy and, and pay for the services that they are using. We have had to make uh, uh, consultations with our ex uh, communities, explain to them what is happening, that we need to, to pay for the services so that we can be sustainable as a municipality, so that we can be able to offer them other services as well. So we have begun uh, uh, actually with what we call normalizing of electricity. We have started with, uh, uh, because people have bridged their electricity meters, we have now started unbridging, so to speak, those uh, meters and resealing them with the necessary seals that they've got uh, unique numbers. Uh, and, and in that regard, uh, it, it's really paying off because we are beginning to, to, to see the benefits uh, of that action that we have taken. And people on their own, they are saying they want to assist us to succeed because our success will be their success. So people are beginning to pay for their services. Mm. And uh, at the same time, we have started these negotiations with ESCOM because there's also a court order that is pending that uh, 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 actually directs us as the municipality that ESCOM has to come over and assist us so that we can have that partnership agreement ESCOM will be here. We are just uh, threshing out the minor details of the contracts or agreement that we'll have with them. So they will be taking uh, over, uh, even though not on a permanent basis, yeah. just so that they stabilize our electricity and eventually they're able to recoup uh, the money that we owe them as a municipality. Just as a, a brief one, I'm out of time. I couldn't okay. help but have a chuckle when I read that part in the article that there are suggestions that the ANC wants to recruit you. Would you join them? Look, look, Pauli, that, that has always been the case since uh, we, we, we took over the municipality, even before that, you know, so they've always wanted us to come over. But like I indicated yesterday, our focus is on delivering the services to our field. That's the most important thing. This one of whether we'll go back to the ANC or not is neither here nor there. So we are focused on servicing our people, making sure that they receive the so uh, much uh, uh, services that they need as a community. Pakatlang Mutlong, that's uh, the council speaker and uh, spokesperson of uh, the MAP 16. It's, it's wonderful news, isn't it? On a Monday morning, talking positive news, positive uh, development in the communities. Why? Part of the reason is that people there have shown the ANC the door.